Joyce Anderson often gets asked the same question from kids. What's that on your head? Tell them it's my superhero cap. The villain in this case? A very aggressive type of brain cancer called glioblastoma that Anderson was diagnosed with in December of 2014. It was a terrible, shocking time. For the first few months, my husband and I just we were devastated. We cried a lot. After surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, doctors tried a new therapy involving a device called Optune that uses electric fields to fight the cancer. Patients cover their shaved scalp with strips of electrodes connected by wires to a small generator kept in a bag. They create low-intensity electric fields that disrupt cell reproduction, which make cells die. When we were starting it, it was maybe science fiction. Um, as with everything new you start, and I think it shows how cancer therapy has evolved. Dr. Roger Stoop led the study while at the University Hospital Zurich in Switzerland. The results, just released at a cancer conference in Washington, show while the therapy is not a cure, it extends patients' lives. So median survival has increased from 16 months to 21 months. Import, more importantly so that we have two-year survival, three-year, four-year, and five-year survival increase. He hopes the findings will help convince other doctors who have been skeptical. Pilot tests are also underway for other cancers, including on pancreatic and ovarian tumors. I think the study data is clear, crystal clear. Anderson's insurance covers most of the cost of the device, which she has to wear for the rest of her life. Her husband, Hal, helps change the electrodes every three to four days. She says she's gotten used to it and doesn't feel the need for a wig. I'm not ashamed to have them on, and I don't care if anybody knows that I have cancer. I think it's um, good to show people that you can do this and not be worried about other, what other people think. So far, Anderson's MRIs every two months haven't revealed any new tumors. While fatigue is her main side effect, she's been able to go back to work and resume her love of travel. Instead of just going for vacation, we're going to celebrate my life and, uh, and me doing so well and being able to travel and work and lead a normal life. That includes zip lining, yeah. something she never thought possible after her brain cancer diagnosis. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press.